this Sunday, about today? Oh, are we sure? Are you glad to be here? Can we shout a better hallelujah to the almighty God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we cold? Is the temperature cold or high or what? Praise the almighty God. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I sing. Hold that I need them I am not Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. So great, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Change and 
everybody that needs to sing it. Are we ready to the next verse? So mad and winter and springtime and harvest. Whatever you have that is that read from Genesis to Revelation, open it. Open it. It's the mercy of God that has been with us. Are we ready? Yes, yes. I just want everybody to like. You want, I want you to have it first before you understand what I mean. So open it. Some are still not open. Some are still even sitting down. If you are sitting down, please be on your feet. Be on your feet to Psalm 136. And it's a very common, everybody knows that. It's very common. It's very common. Psalm 136. I do one, we are doing from one to ten. I do one, you do two. I do three, you do four. I hope you understand the man. Psalm 136. Everybody, let us. Are we ready? Yes, I guess we're ready now. So I do one, you do two. Then when it gets to ten, everybody does. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy, endure it forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lord for his mercy, endure it forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens. For his mercy endure it forever. To him that made great light, for his mercy endure it forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endure it forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endure it forever. Oh, is anyone seeing what I'm seeing? Everything about this thing is just about his mercy endure it forever. When you now check that 10 verse down here, he said he smote Egypt, their firstborn. But this God has not ordered them to live. He 
and be merciful unto you. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God. All together worthy. All together to read book of Psalms, praise the Lord, magnify his holy name, is worthy of receiving our praise. We are going to lift our voice of praise unto the almighty God. Thank you God for your mercy. Thank you Lord for what? For your, are we ready to say that unto the Lord? Father in Jesus name, we say thank you Jesus for thy mercy upon me. For thy mercy upon my family. For thy mercy upon the church of the Lord. For thy mercy that endureth forever. He said, give thanks unto the Lord for his good. For his mercy endureth forever. Father, we lift up our voice this morning. We say, you are God indeed. We say, you are the God that reigns over all the affairs of men. We lift up our voice unto you this morning. We say, hallow be to your name, Jesus. We say, thank you, the almighty God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Are we good to sing that song? Choir, can you help me better? You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. tell me you can't shake your body in the house of the Lord. Don't tell me that. If they sing any secular songs now, you know how you move your body. This is the house of God. You have to move. It's a must for you to what? You have to move your body. Don't pretend as if you can't raise that leg. Don't pretend as if you don't want. You have to move your body. You are good and your mercy is forever.
some, especially our youths, our teenagers, they still feel now everybody must. If you don't shake your body, I'm not leaving this place. If you don't shake that your body, I know you dance. I know. Everybody here dance. If our father, grandpa can be dancing, I don't know if the reason why you, do you do, there's no any good reason you have that you don't shake your body. You have to shake that body. You have to wave that your hands. It's a must for you to do in the house of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. just thank him for keeping us thank you thank him for keeping your family thank him for keeping you that you're still here we just give him all the glory all the honor i just sent her of it all it's you that I see, it's you that I see. I 
Are we full with the hearts of thanksgiving? Yes. Are we full with our hearts of thanksgiving? Yes, yes. Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got the whole world in you.
Every time they would ask the family, why are you keeping him? They said, no, we don't want him to die yet. He was being fed with food, food all over his body. And you are here, you are worshiping God, and two people just looking at their watch like, you know, it's time to, and that's how it came to me. It's not only first Sunday that we should do this. We should practice this all the time. Praise is a, praise is a lifestyle. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. Oh, we're supposed to dance. Everything we came into 2023 with, they are still intact. Trust me, we don't need to have a seminar on praise. It should be a lifestyle. Go to work, come back. Food on the table, shelter over your head. Do you know how many are on the streets begging? Oh, I saw a very beautiful lady. Extremely gorgeous. She was begging for money. Do you know how humiliating that is? You have lost all pride. There is no shame. So whoever sees me, I don't care. I just want to survive. You have more than enough. You throw some away. You don't know what to do with them. Many of you have clothes in your closet that still have tags on them. And then when you come to church, you're folding your arms. Hasn't the Lord been good? I just want to give an announcement, but some things get to me like, do we even get it? 21-year-old was shot dead in a car. Accused of shoplifting. You will never know if you should shoplift or not. Oh, the same way you drive your cars on a daily basis and you come back home. Oh, you think you... You think you're supposed to come back home because you saw Jesus? Who knows if she was a Christian? She still met a faith that shouldn't have happened to her. She was gone down over shoplifting. And then you're praising the Lord and you're like, oh, they need to go back to their sin all over again. Then why are you in church? Why are you in church? Oh, I can go on and on and on. We need to get this thing together. The kids are back in school. They are still intact. You know how many cats they are young? No parents pray to bury a child. What of the ones that bury their own kids? 
and yet first Sunday you're still like, I want to go home. Then stay home. Stay home. These things get to me. Like, do you even know how big this God is? Pastor Mason, the same way many fall from their bed and they die in their room. And yet you wake up and you walk gingerly and go to work and think, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord in my life. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Praise should be an everyday thing. We set aside this day that we want to praise and thank God that He has kept us to a new month. But I, I you know, I beg to differ. It should be an everyday thing. Let's learn to appreciate this God. It is not when things are going good for you. That song said, Nigba Toba Tewalong, you are the Messiah. No. Even when, when he has not done anything for you, he's the most high God. He can kill. He creates and he can kill. Talaba fi owo. Who can you compare him with? Talo leba odoba olong. The God that's above all God. All other gods are the works of men. Ah, we need to, you know, hey, I'm talking about my lifestyle. That's a covenant between me and God. That as long as I'm still living, oh, I'm going to praise him. Oh, I don't care about what you say. He can take me any time he wants to. But while I still have my limbs, I'm going to worship him. Let's listen to our announcements. I just felt like getting that out. Our Sunday school is from 10 to 11. Our wo Sunday worship service from 11 to 1 p.m. Wednesday Bible study is still at 7 p.m. By the way, it's still on. Don't think because pastor is not home, we're still having our Bible study. So our monthly service is second Friday of the month by prayer meeting at 7.30 p.m. Every last Sunday of the month is the Holy Communion service. Every last Friday is our night vigil. One Saturday of the month is our women's meeting. First Sunday of the month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. How many have actually called pastor since he left the church? Oh, check on his family. I'm as guilty as you, so don't think because I'm standing in the altar. No. no. Daddy, you have to do that. He's your son. Is our shepherd. You're supposed to check on him and pray for him. Because the work is still, is still far. This is just the beginning. He's going throughout the ends of the earth. He is going throughout the ends of the earth. I'm telling you, he's not called to just sit here. He's an evangelist. So while you can take advantage of him, there'll be times when you'll be like, when is pastor coming home? He's been gone for so long. Key him to you. Pray for him. Pray for his family. Check on the family. Let's do that. Blessing time. Offering time. Ah, it's very quiet. What is going on? Ah, me, I have to pay my rent. Eh? I can't give to the church. Okay. That's because the Lord is still giving you the opportunity to have a job to pay your rent. So, he said, do my own first. Do my own, then I'll thank you. Let's give via cash up on FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. PayPal FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. Zelle FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. Let's rise onto our feet as Pastor Mrs. blesses the offering. Shall we all rise up as we give cheerfully? Because he loves it, a cheerful giver. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, we bless you for everything you've given unto us. Thank you uh, because we cannot be here, it's only by your grace. We that are exalted in the name of Jesus. That the Lord, as we give this unto you, O oh God, 
Father, Lord, we pray that you will reward us. You will devour the devourer for our sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our bounds shall be full in the name of Jesus. But I pray that indeed you will make us a blessing even to generation in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that are looking to your face for one thing or the other, that we pray you will surprise them even this week in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, I will dance like it. Even though we are not worthy of it, 
You are not worthy. I am not worthy for your preserved you. It is the Lord doing. It is marvelous in our sight. I tell you, praise, praise the Lord. I let it be a lifestyle. Don't let uh, don't be motivated to praise God. You know. Don't be motiva motivated. Don't feel that you have to be gingered to praise your God. Because all that is giving us, we are not deserving of it. Like I said some weeks ago, that some children don't even have the benefits to leave. They didn't even have the chance to leave. Not just, not just saying, oh, some people died yesterday. No, that is not the thing. Some children don't even have the benefit, the chance. What am I saying? In, right in the womb, they die. They have no chance of what you have. And life is a gift. If you can think deeper, you can praise this God. He is an awesome God. He is an awesome God. So let his praises resound every time, not only when you are in his presence. As you go in your daily activity, let it be a big part of us. Even to the children, to everyone, to adults. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Because what would be? What could have been if it's the Lord that is not on our side? Many waters have passed under the bridge. Oh, I can say of myself, where would I be? I know where I was before. And I know where that I, I, I am right now. It is only by his grace that we are standing. Give him the loudest praise he deserves it. Father, we worship you, O oh God. Father, we bless you. You are worthy, O oh God. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We worship you. Daddy, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, O oh God. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. Father, we worship you for all that you have done, O oh God. We exalt your name. We bless you. Daddy, we thank you. We worship you, oh God. Be exalted, oh God. But I will worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I am that I am, oh God. Daddy, we will worship you as long as we live. With every prayer that is within us, oh God. I will worship you, oh God. I will worship you, oh God. As long as I live, I may not have food to eat, but I will worship you. As long as I'm living, oh God. Because we are created to make his grace glorious. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Praise the Lord. Let's have our seats in his presence. Yes, as long as we live, let's make his praise glorious. That is why we are created for. The sun, the moon, all these things, they are created for his glory. How much more we that are made in his own image. We are made in his own image. He created us in his own image so that we can give praises to him. We can give praises to him. All those creatures, they cannot talk back. The stone cannot rise. But he said he can make them rise if we fail not to praise him. Okay? So that is why let us, let's cultivate the habits of praising him. Not only when he has done something. Not only when you win a contract. Not only when you have a promotion. You know, because everybody can do that right? Everybody can do that. And not only when you have a bonus, not only when the bank account is fat, not only when it all looks rosy, because it's the same God that is in the valley. It's still the same God in the mountain. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. I bring greetings from pastor and I believe you are praying for him. You're praying in your closet as you're praying for yourself. You're praying for the man of God as well. And for as many, you know, that are in troubles right now, that the Lord will bring them safely in the name of Jesus. So let us continue to pray for him that the work of God in his hand will continue to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the glory, Daddy. We thank you for today because this is the day you have made and we rejoice and be glad in it. Daddy, Lord, as we go into the teaching of your word, as we acknowledge ourselves, Daddy, we ask that you speak to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, the Bible says that the entrance of your word, it giveth life. Father, we pray to every heart, to every heart that is bleeding, O oh God, to every heart that is aching. Father, we pray that the balm of Gilead, O oh God, the oil, Oh, God, we touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that your word, we are made 
Your word will heal even our very soul in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that your joy will resound even in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Daddy, we give you all the honor. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen, amen. Tell someone, say, happy new month. Happy new month. Say it with some excitement. Happy new month. Yes. Yes, many people saw last month, but here they are not here. But we thank God that the Lord is, uh, is been with us. He's been helping us through and through. It is only by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. We are in the Bam Bam month. You know, this September, October, November, December. You know, people usually say, that's people say, this is when things usually happen. But I know that the grace of God and the divine protection of God is upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb will be a covering over you, over your family members, over your loved ones, nothing broken, nothing shaken in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord that has kept us from the beginning of the year, it will, also, it will surely keep us even to the very end and the years to come in the name of Jesus. Praise, praise the Lord. Today, I'm not going to hold us too long, but we are going to dance. I see uh, Brother Toby was like encouraging us and pulling us to dance and to dance and to dance. Let me just tell you this. In the house of God, there is liberty. In the house of God, there is what? Liberty. I know some people say, I don't know how to dance. But it's okay. Not everybody know how to dance. I understand that. Because me, I'm a dancer. I could dance anywhere. But I understand not everybody can do that. But at least, let your soul, you know how your soul is happy and is glad? Let's say somebody, somebody like the, the, for the children, let's say somebody is coming to your school, the president is coming to your school, and you have to shake him or somebody, or maybe one of your celebrities that you like, your role model, you know, is coming to your school. You know the soul and the excitement that comes in, you're not just going to look all dull and all that. So even if you don't know how to dance, let the joy of the Lord fill your soul. And that joy of the Lord will make you to move. Even if it's to the right, to the left, to the front, and to the back. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise, praise the Lord. So I just taught you a dance step. So when it is time to dance, don't tell me you don't know how to dance. Praise the Lord. All right, let us go into the word of God. This morning, I just want to encourage us. In the word faith that conquers fear. Say that. Faith that conquers fear. Again. Faith that conquers fear. What is fear? Let's start with that. And I hope you have your jotter or your notes. Let's make this as a habit, you know, just to write something down. It helps you not to focus on your phone. It helps you not to be distracted. If you just have something, not everybody do it, but I do it. And I think it's a good idea. Fear, it says it's a false evidence that appear real. Fear is what? That appears real. Well, let us go into the word of God. Num Numbers 13, 25 to 33. Numbers 13, 25 to 23, to 33. Start from 25. Yeah. Okay, I like to look at the um, I know technology has taken everything. Uh, it's good, but I just like, all right, so we start. Numbers 13, 25. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. So this is the promise of God, just to give you a little background on this, to... To the Israelites, after they have journeyed in the land, uh, you know, they came out of Egypt. You know, you all know the story. But here, there is a promise. There is a promise. Let me tell you, the Israelites, which we are, they are peculiar people. They are the people of covenant. And this started from Abraham to his descendants. So God promised them the promised land, the, ma the land that flows with milk and what? Honey. And the land is Canaan's land. And they've been trying and trying and trying. 
what the journey that was supposed to take few days because of their disobedience taking them 40 years but here again this there's an, another promise say go and search the land that i have promised you verse 26 and this is their re re report and they went and came to moses and to aaron and to all the congregation of the children of israel unto the wilderness of paran and kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto the, all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. We continue. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. So they even brought evidence. Nevertheless, that is the, 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 the cross. Nevertheless, say, nevertheless. nevertheless. But the people be strong that dwell in the land. Does that consign God? Okay, the, the God did not know that before. Sometimes we try to tell God what he knew before. But these people, they are strong, they are dwelling in the land. Let's continue. And the city, cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. And the Amalek, Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Hamorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell in the seas and by the coast of Jordan. See, they're, they're, they appointed 12 uh, representatives from all the tribes. So it was 12 of them that went there. But Caleb, verse 30, still the people before, he quieted them before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it. For we are well able to overcome it. Somebody say, we are well able to overcome it. Amen. But the man that went with him. See, sometimes you might have people that are around you. Sometimes you have to be, be, be careful of your circle. Be careful of the people that you go with. But the man that went with him said, oh no, we be not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which you have gone to search it, it is a land that is eaten up of inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there was and they saw giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and were in our sights, and we are as grasshoppers. And we, as we were in their sight. See, I don't, I don't know what picture they are seeing. They've already put themselves down. They already will put themselves down. Like we are like grasshoppers. How do you expect us to go into this land? We are just like grasshoppers. Oh, all the limitation. They were like, oh, I am not worthy. I am black. I have accents. I cannot do this. I was not born here. I have, I, I, even most, Moses himself, I, I stutter. I can't speak. I tell you, I am one that cannot come in front of people and talk. I am, I am shy. We are not worthy. I cannot come. I can't do this. I am not fit for this. I don't know how they will see me. This is their report. This is their report. I tell you, it is very, very important you, sur you surround with yourself with people that have the same, they speak the same language as you speak. They speak, they speak the language of faith. We say faith that conquers fear. The, it is the devil's strategy. It is the devil's strategy for you to see, to go by what you see instead of what the word of God says. It says we walk not by sight, but we walk by faith. What is the sight? The signs will always tell you there's something that will happen. See, these people, like I said earlier, false evidence. Because I don't know who told them all these things. It is something that they have created in their hearts. It is something that they created in their hearts. You know, like people that, that uh, have phobia of the public, they say, what if I fall? Oh, what if I come in the, into the front, I just trip? The, has it happened? Talk to me. Has it happened? No. So then it is what? false evidence. Oh, what if I start that business and it collapse? Has it happened? So failure is when you don't try. Failure is what? When you don't try. 
And to all the kids here and even adults, do not let fear hold you back. Do not let fear hold you back. Is it a spot you want to try? Is it something you want to go for? Do not let fear. Because the only regret you will have is not trying. Because after you have tried, and whatever may be the result, you say, at least I tried. I give it a try. You know, someone uh, was talking, I listened to 91.9 a lot, and this guy was saying that his uh, daughter, I think she played gymnastic. She is very good, but she's, she's scared of the crowd. She, in the house, she could do it, she could do stunts, she could do all kinds of things. But when she has to go in the crowd, she, 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 she quiets in within her. She crawls into her, her own shelf. Sometimes your comfort zone might be the one that the enemy is using for, to, to, to advertise the glory of God upon your life. Sometimes you feel that, oh, I am, I, I'm comfortable. You know, I pay my bills. My kids are doing well. That, that, that we are fine. You just want to stay in that comfort zone and don't want to venture out. So this man was saying she encouraged her. And then she tried, she did trials, you know, and things like this. And the child was like, mm, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Then the dad stood his feet. He stood on his ground and said, you are going to do it. I'm going to encourage you to do it. Now, the girl was first in the group. First in the group, the very first day she was signed into leaves. So do not let your fear hold you back. What am I saying? This is not only to our young ones, but to all, everyone here. Do not let the fear hold you back. Oh, what if it falls out? What if I cannot do it? What if I cannot do that? You will never know what you could do. Because in you... He said, it is you, that son said, we will never settle for less. We will never settle for less. We will not have this average mindset that, oh, this is how they're doing it. Let me just manage myself. Let me, let me just manage the Israelites. They were like, ah, ah. before, when we were in, in Egypt, you know, we were eating whatever we want. We were in the state of slavery. They were not free. We were eating whatever we want. Sometimes we feel com comfortable while suffering and we are smiling in it, thinking that this is all that it is to God. And he said, we are fine where we are. We are fine where we are. We have suffered and now you want us to go back into slavery because this is their mindset. They feel that, oh, these people are giants and look at us. We that we've just been delivered from Egypt and here we are going back again. They just want to limit themselves. They have created a limitation. I don't know what limitation that you've created in your mind. And you just feel that, oh, no, I cannot amount to this. I don't know what word they have even spoken into your life. But today we are going to use the Spirit of God to remove and to reverse every spoken word. I don't know what your past is that even the accuser is using against you. And the accuser says that you, that you are not worthy. Have you forgotten where you came from? Have you come forgotten what you have done? Have you forgotten this that you have done and you think you can do? this, I tell you in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that the spirits of giants will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. You will use your own voice and your own mouth. You will use your voice and your mouth to confess it out. Caleb said, he hold them still. He hold them still. It was like, what are you talking about? We are more than able. We are more than able. We are more than able. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. It says that we are peculiar people. We are peculiar what people? A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. Let us open our, our Bible to it. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. You know, this was their, they are from the word of God. Like we said this morning that the word of God is revelational. You can read it over and over. It means something different to different people. But the word of God is true. The word of God is what? Is true. He said, but ye are a chosen generation. Can you make this personal? But I am a chosen generation. Can you read with me? But I, I am a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness unto his marvelous light. Hallelujah, somebody. Hmm. Tell somebody, you don't know who I am, Moon. Hey, hey, you're not saying it with confidence. You don't know me who, you don't know who I am. Ah, yes. 
You need to speak this with fire and let the kingdom of darkness tremble. Let them tremble. You don't know who you are. You don't know what you carry. You don't know what is inside of you. Yes, these the children of Israel, they feel like they are just grasshoppers. Look at the way they even qualify themselves. You that you are made in God's image. You that you are a peculiar people. You that you are handsome, you are beauty. You are full of his glory. And you look at yourself, I am this. I am that. I am not fit. I cannot qualify to do that. Who says who? said what the Lord has not confirmed. When the Lord said we are peculiar people, we are meant to show forth his glory. You speak into that child, you call it forth. He said deep call it unto the deep. And you speak to it, and speak to that situation because you know who you carry. You know and you speak into that business. You say arise, arise for your light has come because this is a new season. This is a new beginning. I am who I am and I am who God says that I am. You speak into that child child. Autism, it is not your portion. Whatever it is that they have called you, it is not your portion. IEP is not your portion because I know who you are and I know who I am because I am a peculiar people. We are made in his image. I want to give you a holy anger. A holy, I want to disrupt your spirit a little bit because there are times that we are just settled. You settle. I tell you, the spiritual controls the physical. There's nothing that happens just because. Just because. Just because. Oh, just because I am this. Just because I am that. It doesn't, it doesn't build up our spirit to make us to pray. We need to enter into a, a, a war zone and speak what belongs to you and speak it out. Because it is by violence. He said it is violence to take what belongs to you. It is by force. Yes. Yes. Thank you, my sister. So we were talking about this a few weeks ago, or maybe last week in the Bible study, that there are some forces. There are some forces that compel us. It is the Holy Spirit that compel us to be who we are. So it is these forces that you use and pull what belongs to you. Because the devil is not playing, you know. Hey, tell somebody the devil is not playing. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. I tell you, the kingdom of darkness, while you are sleeping and snoring, and probably have been in your village or wherever it is, <laughs> they are there looking at you and shaking their head. But when we know who we are, even before you go to bed, you already satisfy the whole place you are firebrand. You continue to pray. Even your spirit prays while you're sleeping. Let me tell you something. If you are the one that sometimes wake up in the middle of the night for no reason, it is time for you to pray. Some people say, oh, I cannot sleep. Me, I, sometimes I do, I do have that issue that I can't sleep. But that's from years of working nights. But then before, I would just be somewhere in bed and doing this, doing that. But then the Spirit of God speaks to my heart that just use this opportunity and pray. And pray. And I would just pray and pray till I, that spirit would just come. You cannot relax, so tell somebody that. You can't relax. You cannot just relax. You cannot relax. There are people that have prayed on your behalf. There are mothers, there are fathers, there are spiritual parents that have prayed. So we are praying through and praying it out. Prayer is just like a deposit. Do not be tired of praying. Do not be tired of praying over your children, interceding for your church, praying for others around you. Praise the Lord, somebody. Wow. I tell you, fear will limit you. Fear will what? Limit you. Fear, it, oh my God, fear, it will limit you. There are so many people that fear has limited because of, and they carry so much in them. It is demonic. It is demonic. You know, fear, sometimes people say fear. Fear, when it leads to anxiety, it becomes, it, it, even the fear of the unknown. Have you seen people that say, oh, I don't know what will become of my children. The fear of the unknown. Some people are afraid of death. Some people are afraid what will happen to my family after I die. But do, do I know dead yet? Hello? As if we are God. 
Some people say, what will happen to them? How are they going to do this? How are they going to do that? I'm not saying don't work for tomorrow. I'm not saying don't put these children in a place where they will be comfortable. But when you exercise this fear, it leads to anxiety. It even increases your blood pressure. It even it, it, it passes down your kidneys. It passes down your heart. That's why you see some people have heart attack. Yeah, sometimes it could be hereditary, but some, some people patch it and help it. It's like some, something that is about to burn and you put petrol inside it and worrying again. Fear, we put something that is not there and we make it as if it is real. Yeah, something that is non-existence. So children of God, I just want to encourage you this morning. I want to encourage you, every fear, every worries, oh, how am I going to do it? Uh, put all your cares and all your worries upon him because he wants, he cares for you. After you have prayed, after you have fasted, put your trust in him because that is the evidence of our faith. Hebrews chapter 11, shall we open our Bible to Hebrews chapter 11? All these people that we read in the Bible, it, it gives us uh, the details. It says our forefathers, the fathers of faith, Abraham, Joseph, Isaac, Paul, all of them, they are matriarch of faith. Hebrews chapter 11. And this is what we believe in. This is what we believe and this is what we see. It says now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yes, you may not have received your papers. Yes, you may not have passed that exam. Yes, you don't have that job. But you glory in it because it is what it is. And you speak it forth. Yes, the business might not be blooming the way you want it. But you speak life. Because it says power of life and death lays in the tongue. And you speak it just as you want it. You do what you speak it. I told you, remember who you are. We are not grasshoppers. He said, we are able to go up and take the country. We are more than able. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He says, behold, I am the Lord of all flesh. The Lord of all mankind. Is there something too difficult for me to do? I just want to encourage you to start dreaming big. To start dreaming what? To start dreaming big. To start dreaming what? Dream big. Ah, they say God of miracle, now my papa. Oh. God of miracle, now my papa. Oh. You know where you where you know who's your father is. Ha. When you know who's your fa father is, your papa. <laughs> when you know who you are. There's some kind of work that you work, okay? And you say, it gets me. It gets me. When, uh, uh, for, for example, Prince Charles or whoever is there, his sons and all that. You know, the Buga. Hello? You know what Buga is? They do Shakara. They do Shakara because they know who their father is. Yes. It gives you that confidence. It gives you that confidence. It gets me. That you got me. Even if your children, even as we, we are. As parents, you have this confidence in your father, in your parents, in your mother, that I will not lack. And isn't that what we do? Because you will even do to the essence of not having to provide for them. How much more God that watches over us? He has you in the best interest. What you are not even thinking. What's you, you are not even thinking. Does your, 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 <laughs> do your children have to ask you, Daddy, have you paid the rent? Hey. Do they have to ask you, Daddy, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Because I don't know what is going on in this. <laughs> hey. Let's, let's break it down. Do they have to ask you, what am I going to wear? Hey. Do they have to ask you, where, there's no, what, what, where's the water that I have to use? Come on now. Come on, somebody. They even make their demands. They write their list. This is what I want. They don't ask you if you have the money or you don't have the money. It is none of their business. So why do you have to worry? 
when you are made in his image, why? 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 He said even the sparrows, he knows what they need. And those are not made in his image, oh. Those are not made in his image. But we that we're made in his image, we allow the cares of the world because we go by what we see. Because you go by what you see, the bills. You go by what you see, the limitations, my status. How am I going to do this, the business? But yet he says he cares for you. I just want your, your, your faith to resound in him. I just want your faith to be strong in him. Because he says that I am God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? God has shown and manifested himself in diverse ways. He has been faithful to me. Has he been faithful to you? Has he been faithful to you? Are you sure? Has he been faithful to you? So the God of yesterday, isn't he the same today and evermore? Has he failed you at any time? Some things he might not give, not because he doesn't want to give you. For example, one time my son told me, he wants some red tie for tie. <laughs> As a test. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, any kind of red tie, you know? And that's why I started with fish. Now let's just start with <laughs> it's just that, you know, for a pet, he wants red tie. Yes. And we went to the store and he saw this one. He said, Yes, that one. I said, not on my word. <laughs> A snake as a, as a pet. Some people keep it as a pet and even want some other stuff. No. And that is how God cares for you. Because sometimes we don't even know. He's naive. He doesn't know. He just thinks that, okay, it's kind of intriguing or whatever. I don't even know what he was thinking. And that is why sometimes we, we, God is looking at us like, I don't know what he's thinking. Because he sees the future. He sees the end even from the beginning. God wants a relationship with you more. Some of us, we want to have our millions now, okay? We want to have our billions now. Maybe you have it now and the next day someone, does, the person dies. And God has an assignment over your life. He has a purpose over your life. There are people that will be blessed through you. And he's like, you know what, my son, let's start a small, 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 small. Small, small. Let's give you. Let's see how you are faithful in one thousand. Let's see how you are faithful in two thousand. Let's see how you are faithful in this. And that is why, whatever He has given unto you, be diligent in it. If it is in the service of God, be diligent with it. Even if it is as work, be diligent with it. Whatever He has given unto you, be diligent because God is watching. He is watching. He is watching. You know, the mindset of God is just like a businessman. So on Instagram, was it yesterday? And I don't know how many of you saw it. There's this guy. Back home, people hug. Some people know about him. They hug on the street. I think I've seen it here in DC. Where people hug, put something, and they're selling water in the hot weather. Or here people sell flowers and roses. But this guy, he was selling aquafina water. You know that water. And the way he was even like promoting it, advertising this water, he said this water is H2O, it's full of compound, it will nourish your soul. This and, and this guy is educated. That is the, 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 the state of the country. That people that are educated, they have so much, you, can, you see the kind of job. Graduates, you see the kind of job that they are doing. Cut the long story short. He was advertising this water as if it was gold. And they put it on social media. That's the power of social media. You know, the company called this guy forth. Called him forth and asked him for a meeting. And they have given him one of the top positions in their company. That is diligence. Whatever you do, be diligent with it. Be diligent with it. Be hardworking with it. Not because somebody wants to see you, but because this is who you are. Be happy about it. Do you, do you think this guy was happy hawking water and he's a graduate and he's hawking water on the streets? Do you think that gives him joy? No, for any, any average person, it will not give him joy because this is not what he wants to be. And this is not where he wants to be. And that is to say, whatever condition you find yourself, let the joy of the Lord fill you. Let the joy of the Lord fill you so that you don't focus on the problem. He didn't focus. I don't even know how much he makes a month. I can only imagine. 
Because I know for those that hold, they make very small amounts of money. He did not even look at his limitations. Do not look at your limitation that, oh, I cannot do it. He did not focus on that. But it was diligence, diligence, diligence in it. Do not focus on your problem. I know sometimes it's easier to say than done. Do not focus on it, but focus. It was focus. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Now, let's go on to this. Ways to build your faith. Ways to build your faith. Hearing the word of God as you're hearing today. Be mindful of what you hear because people will discourage you. There are people around you just like this Caleb, Joshua, and the other tribes. They discourage them. You are not able to do it. You are not fit to do it. You know, and some people will even tell you, you know, this is what the doctor have told me. This is what they have said. He says, whose report would you believe? And who has the final say? Who has the final say over your life? Who has the final say? Jesus has the final say. He has the final say because he knows you. He fashioned you. He said, why? Before you were even in your mother's womb, he knows you. It says, hearing the word of God, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, because there is power in the word. There is power. Your faith can only increase when you hear the word of God. Your faith can only increase when you hear the word of God because the word of God is power. The word of God is light. He said, let there be light. He made the word just, he made the whole wide world just by pronunciation and declaring. And that is why I said, knows who we are. Because we are a child of the king. You are queens and you are king. That is why you speak some things forth. You speak it forth because there are forces that are bragging it, that are dragging it with you. There are forces that don't want you to be successful. There are forces, forces that want you to be subjected to working 9 to 5, to working 10 hours, to working 12 hours, and working under somebody and having no freedom. Yes, that, that, that is not the goal. Hallelujah, somebody. You know, if, you're, if your mindset is to work the American system and just to remain that and just to, to do retirement, oh, no. Oh, no. You have to think bigger. You have to think bigger because what gives you financial freedom? Having your own and controlling it. Because you can choose to open the store today. Because for me, if I decide not to go to work tomorrow, hey, they're going to call me. Where are you? <laughs> you better ask yourself here. But when you have your own, you have your own, you have your own. And let me tell you, this is the Gen Z that I love about Gen Z. Gen Z have a different uh, uh, mindset. You see all these young kids already having their small, small businesses. Wake up, somebody. Wake up, somebody. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Wake up. Don't even look at it that like, I cannot do this. Yes, you can. Whatever it is your dream, dream bigger. Dream bigger. You, are, you can do greater. You, can, you know, spirituality is not only praying for something. It is being something. Yes, when you are being, becoming, becoming in everything that you do. Becoming. Sometimes I say, oh, I'm, I'm not able to come to church because of this, because of my schedule. But if you have your own, your own business, I don't want to open shop today. You don't open. Hey, hey. I don't want to do this today. There are so many things you can go into. As you are praying for financial breakthrough, as you are praying, God, heal me. God, give me my papers. God, do this for me. God, touch that child. The same mindset is you having your own. And why is it that you want to have your own? Freedom to serve him. Like I said last week or some weeks, that whatever we do is to his glory and to serve him. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hearing the word of God, following the Lord. Can we open our Bibles to Numbers chapter 14, verse 24? Don't worry, we're almost there. Numbers 14, 24. But my servant, Caleb, see, remember the story of Caleb, Joshua, and all of them? And here, Caleb, he said, but my servant, Caleb, because he had another spirit. And what, I, what is that spirit? The spirit of God. The spirit that encourages the spirit that says, let us go and take the place. He said, and he has followed me fully. You know, as Christians, sometimes we say we are following God. We are Christ. We are followers of God. But the words that come out of our mouth. You are praying seven days fasting. You are prayed and you are fasted. And then you look at it. Is, that, is it possible? Huh? You say, is that thing possible? Can I really do it? 
Can I really do it? From now, after you've heard this message, I just want you to write down those visions that you have for the year. The year is not finished yet. The year is not finished yet. It's just started. Rewrite and go back to that vision board and look at it. This is what I said I want to do from the beginning of the year. And you can do it. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He said, but he said he has followed me fully. Following God is listening to his word. Following God is being like him. You know, how can you be a follower of something or a believer of something and it's not influencing you? So what kind of follower are you? If you follow something, it has to influence you. Hello, somebody. Just like in relationship, husband and wife. They say after some time they've been together, they start to do look alike. Or they begin to what, act the same. So some is taking one attribute from the other one, and the other one is taking the attribute from the other one. They said, he has fully followed me. Him will I bring into the land. See, there's promise unto this. Unto the land where unto he, he went, and his seed shall possess it. Following God and obedience to the will of God, there is a promise. The promise was already there. The promise is there for us to be great. The promise is already there for us to do signs and wonders. But you have to key in into it. Because there are powers and there are forces. The forces that don't want them to be great are the other ones that are telling them they are grasshoppers. The forces that don't want you to be great are the ones that is looking at you that I am not tall, I cannot play basketball. The forces that are looking at you is telling you, you have an accent. They will not understand what I am saying. No, you tell them, listen to me and read my lips. Praise the Lord, somebody. Watch my lips and read my lips. The way that I speak to you is the way that I'm hearing you and what you are saying, I am listening to. So because everybody have an accent. Yes, the Caucasians have an accent. And even here, there are some South accents. Yeah, before I didn't know that. There are Southern accents, right? And there are some other accents, different places. But when you listen, you will hear. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes, you have to be confident about who you are. And do not let anyone limit you. Don't let anybody limit you. And the same spirit you put into your children. Do not let the society limit you. Do not let who you are limit you. Submitting to the will of God. See, this is all that it is. Caleb, Joshua, they all submitted to the will of God. They submitted to the will of God. It is not your will. Yet you want that business. But it is, the, is it the will of God? Yes, I want financial freedom. It is the will of God. But are you doing the type of business that he wants you to do? And what is the reason for this business? Yes, I want to serve God. Yes, I want God to answer my prayer. Yes, I want God. Let me tell you, Hannah, she's been going to Shiloh for years. She's been going every year for years. And she prayed. Her first prayer request was that, you know what? My, my senior wife, she has like, I don't know how many kids she has, maybe seven or ten. But you know what? God, I want my own child to brag, okay? To tell her that I have a God that I serve so that she will know that she's not the only one that can have a child. Was that, was that the will of God? I, I want that money so I can brag. I want this so that they know that I have arrived. I want that business so they, I can show. But until she changed her prayer request. Until she changed what? Her prayer request. Men, women, this is how we pray. Praying the will of God into existence. And she said, give me this child. That this child will serve you. Brethren, the secret to answer prayer is praying the purpose of God. That is it. You can pray fire to thy kingdom come. You can pray whatever, and I'm a believer in prayer. But if you are praying out of God's will and out of mercy, it's a waste of time. She said that I may have this child, that it will serve you. And she reconsecrates this child to him. That is the heart that God is looking for. Submitting to the will of God. Submitting to the will of God. And like I said, Speak it forth. Can we open our Bibles to Romans chapter 4 verse 17. 
Do not focus on the problem. Do not focus on the magnitude of the problem. Romans chapter 4 verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee father of many nations. Before whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead. And called the things which are not as though they were. The things which are not. The things which are not. What are the things that are not that you desire? What are the things that are not that you desire? I want to be big. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to amount to that. I want that child. I want that husband. I want this and I want that. But do not be lazy while you're waiting. Do not be, do, do not be what? Lazy while you're waiting. Equip and make yourself busy. It says, for he has called those things which be not as though they were. Calling those things which I know that I am greater than this. I am bigger than this. I am a blessing to generations. Generations will rise through me. This is what they call big. When generations rise through you. When you're able to raise some generations and you raise them up. They are going through college through you. Your funding. You are going through college through you. God has not called us for our family. He said he makes him to be fathers of nations. What is it to be fathers of nations? That people depend on you and you feed them. And not only for them to depend on you, you raise them up. That they are independent. He said you don't only, you don't only teach them to, 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 to fish, but you empower them. And that is what has God has deposited into every one of us. Let us open 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. We'll be closing soon. Whatever it is that is your dream, whatever it is that it may be your desire, maybe you are waiting on the Lord for one specific need. And I don't know what the, the, the report that the, the doctors have given unto you. I don't know what report the doctors have given unto you. I don't know what report they've given unto you. Whatever it is, our God can do all things. He says, I am God of all flesh. I am God of all flesh. You are made in his, in his image. Cancer cannot stay in your body. Whatever it is, the disease is diabetes is not your portion. Blood pressure is not your portion. Glaucoma is not your portion. Whatever the enemy has spoken upon your life, we reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus. And it says, why we look not at the things which are seen. You, know, you don't look at your, your, your position. We don't look at what the doctors say. We don't look at any report. But at the things which are not seen, but the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Just in the same 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. Shall we all rise up? 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. Yes. I, I just want you to have that, all, that thing in you. Let it grow out of you. I am more than this. Do not settle for less. Because greater that is in you than he that is in the world. For we walk not by faith. And faith is the evidence of things not seen. And when we are going to pray, whatever that you wish over yourself, over your family, Whatever it is that it is your goal, whatever that it is your plan, wherever you see yourself, you speak it forth. You speak it forth. My account is big. I am big in Christ. It, see, when your account is big, let me tell you what you are praying, you know, because when you pray, when your account is big, be faithful in what God has given to you now. Be faithful in the little that what God has given to you. Because when he says that you are not faithful in this little, how will he make you big? That is the foundation because when we teach the word of God, we just don't teach and just teach. I want to be this, I want to be that. And you don't have the foundation of it. For we walk not by faith. No, for we walk by faith and not by sight. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. What are your desires? What do you aspire? What it is that you want to be? What I want you to open your mouth and just begin to pray it for us. What it is, what it is that you want. It is here. It says where two or three are gathered in our midst, there he is in our midst. It is here. It is here to deliver. 
He is here to heal. He is here to answer prayers. He said, ask and it shall be given unto me. As long as you're asking according to his will. Say that, Lord, I am here, oh God, in your presence, oh God. But, Lord, I am here in your presence, oh God. Let there be open doors, brethren. Let us begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to open these doors. Begin to speak it forth. Say, let there be open doors over every desires of my heart, oh God, daddy. Let there be open doors over your church. Let there be open doors, oh God. Every door that the enemy has closed, whatever may be the reports that they have given unto you. He says, and what's report? For shall we believe? He says, because we are greater, we are mightier, we are stronger. Say that the Lord, I believe you can do this for me, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray for it. Begin to pray for it. I am bigger than this. I am bigger than this. I am bigger than this. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I don't know, be specific in your prayer requests. You have to be specific. Because you are not going to pray as someone that don't know what they want. You know what you want. And you're going to speak it forth. Say, I receive that promotion. I receive that promotion. I receive that good health. It's my, it's my portion. Open your mouth, brethren, and begin to say it out. Begin to speak it forth. I speak over that child right now. That it is well with my soul. It is well with that child. Oh, what report shall you believe? In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of autism. It is gone in the life of that child. Every spirit of sickness. It is gone in the life of that child. In the mighty name of Jesus. My business is booming. I am booming to the glory of God. He says that it will make me a blessing even to generations. Because my birth shall be full. 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 Open your mouth and begin to pray. I am praying my thoughts. Open your mouth and begin to pray for us. Oh, I am bigger than this. God can do more than this. He can do more than this if he can raise the dead. If he can raise the dead. Is there something too difficult for God to do? He can raise is it that he can change that report? Every report that the devil has given unto you. He says, Which report shall we believe? Which report shall you believe? Which report shall you believe? In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to speak it forth. Begin to speak it forth. Say, I call forth that which is not as though it be. In the mighty name of Jesus, I see for Christ Evangelical Ministry doing great and mighty things. I see for Christ Evangelical Ministry having branches. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and pray. I am praying my own. He said, where two or three are gathered, you don't know which angels are here. And they are here to bless you because we not go back the same. I see myself doing greater things. I see myself doing exploit for his kingdom. I see myself going higher. I see myself going higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Because greater is he that is in me than he that it is in the world. All that he has given to me, I will fulfill my purpose. I will not die young in the name of Jesus. Every risk of poverty, it is not my portion. Every stagnancy in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to decree and declare every generational causes that has been making you stagnant. Every generational cause that has been making you to go merry-go-round, merry-go-round, and you have nothing to show for it. You walk hours and hours and having nothing to show for it. Open your mouth and break, break in the name of Jesus. Every forces of failure, every forces of stagnancy, every forces that are holding you back in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. It says by violence you have to take it by force. Some things you have to pray for it. There are some generational causes, some causes, some bonds, and some forces that are hovering over some people. And they say, why is this like this? Why am I like this? We can pray the word. We can speak the word. We can stay and teach. But when it is time to break it, you have to break it. There are some generational forces that are following their monitoring spirits. And say, as long as they live, as long as they live, and as long as they are here, this person cannot amount to this. They say, as long as I am here, she cannot be this. As long as I live, I can, this person cannot be this. We are going to open your mouth. Say, every generational causes in the mighty name of Jesus, because they, they shall surely gather, but not by you. Begin to break every evil association over your life, over your children. Say that, Lord, I break them. I break them. I break asunder. Every generational causes, oh God. Every hands that have joined themselves together over my case. I say be broken. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, everyone that has dedicated themselves, he said, he prepares a table in the presence of
of your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to break asunder every causes, every forces, every powers and principalities that says you will not amount to this. Everyone that has said, this is how far she can go. This is how far it can be. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to break and cause every generational causes, every generational causes of untimely death. They say, oh, the forefathers, my great-grandfather died, oh, when he was 60. My father died when he was 60. Is that the will of God for your life? Open your mouth and begin to break every generational causes of untimely death. In the name of Jesus, that is what the Spirit of God is saying right now. Every untimely death over my household, it is not my portion. He said, we will not cast our young. In the name of Jesus, do not take this lightly. In the name of Jesus, every generation our causes in the name of Jesus of untimely death. I say be broken in the name of Jesus. I say be broken in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say every generation of causes of untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus, He says, "Whose report shall you believe?" In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil association that have gathered together and say it is their time. It is their time of sacrifice. It is their time to bring their sacrifice. It is their time to give this land. It is their time to give this soul upon this one. He said, "Let no one trouble me." Because I bear the mark of Christ. All oh, begin to speak it for because you bear the mark of Christ. Let no wishes trouble you. Let no one trouble you because my children bear the mark of Christ. Let no one trouble me because I am for signs and wonder. Because I bear the mark of Christ. Let no one trouble for Christ's evangelical ministry because I bear the mark of Christ. Let no one trouble me. Because you bear the mark of Christ. Your life is hidden in Christ. Is hidden in God through Christ. Because that's what I say, know who you are. There are people that say, this is the end of the year. Well, what are we going to sacrifice? Who is the sacrifice? Who is next? It is not us. Because you bear the mark of Christ. Let no one trouble you. He says that we keep in perfect peace. Whose mind, who trust in him? Who is your trust? Who is your defense? He is my fortress, the God in whom I serve. He is more than enough. He says, though they might be killing 10,000 on your right, they might be killing thousands on your left, but the Lord will keep you. He will keep you from falling. He will keep you from falling. He will keep your household. Nothing shaking, nothing moving in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I commit this once to your hands, O oh God. For him that is able to keep, that is able to restore, I say nothing shaking in the name of Jesus. Father, we cancel every evil agenda in the name of Jesus. Father, because we walk not by sight, but we walk by faith. And that we speak forth, Lord. Every untimely death. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. But I broke it in the name of Jesus. Every untimely death, O oh God. He said we will not cast our young. Every untimely death. Every spirit of untimely death, O oh God. For the Lord, I speak and I stand in the word, in the covenant of the word, in the covenant of the blood, the precious blood. I say be broken in the name of Jesus. Everyone that have joined themselves together. Every evil associations, oh God, over your purpose, over our life, over our visions, over our dream. In the name of Jesus, I say be broken in the name of Jesus. Oh, for the Lord, we cast out the fire of God, oh God. Even if they are missing the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we stand for greatness, oh God. Father, manifest your glory upon our lives, oh God. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Give the Lord a cup offering. Give him the cup offering. Greater than it is that is in you than he that is in the word. You are more than able to conquer it. In the name of Jesus. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Let us pray be gingered in you as you go through this week. 
Because when you go and you walk in into that interview, I have taken it. Begin to possess the land because he said, wherever your feet step upon, it will give it unto you as a possession. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Without wasting time, if this month is your birthday, if this month is your wedding anniversary, if this month is any special occasion or you know you just have a testimony to share, the choirs, please give us a sign as we welcome those people that have, wants to share one thing or the other. Praise the Lord. To give back to you, I have come to say thank you, Lord. I have come to give back to you. I have come to say thank you. the praise for keeping me healthy and alive. I thank God for all of that. Thank God for my family. Thank God for my job. Thank God for everything about me. He's a, he has been faithful. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord, church. On the 29th of this month, I'll be a year younger, and I just want to bless the name of the Lord for keeping me. And also, on the 23rd, my sister will be a you're younger. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody wants to grow old. <laughs> praise, praise the Lord. I mean, it says we should number our days. This is only by the grace of God. Yes, he is worthy. This month also is pastor's birthday. Yes, yes. 17th on the 17th. Lord will be here with us by the special grace of God. Praise, praise the Lord. Uh, we're going to do the general one before we have, we have the children here. And let me just bless this one. In the mighty name of Jesus, as they are counting their days. Birthday. Yes. That, that one is young. <laughs> and now that we commit this one unto your hands, oh God. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, you will preserve them. In the name of Jesus, our every heart desires, oh God, you will miss in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. 
For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. 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 So I want you to dance around. I'm not for, for the general thanksgiving. Because we've been saying it. Can you just bring the offering back to the front, please? We said it this morning. You have to dance. And this is your time to dance. Because that thing you're speaking for us, you're going to practice how you're going to dance. Because when you when, when somebody dash you money or you have whatever you want, you will not just be quiet in your soul and saying, oh, I got this, I got that. Right? So we are going to practice that, sound, that dance as the choir give us a song. Yeah. Hallelujah. You are God. You are not just people. Maybe the music that you dance to, maybe they just record you and then send it to me. And I see who really dances at home. But then you come here and just act like this is strange. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. So if you have that offering, don't keep it, don't pocket it all. Don't take it home more. Because I've done it before, you know, as a kid. I know your ways. <laughs> so just make sure you drop it here, okay? Amen, amen. Father Lord, we thank you for this one, so God. Father, Lord, we bless you for this once in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know as many that are looking unto the Lord for a fruit of the womb, or if you are standing in the gap for someone, you can step forward. Because these are the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit this one unto your hands that you will keep them. And our school have started for some, and are still going to start for some. We pray that we put a covering over them in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I say, brethren, let us stretch forth our hands towards them. Father, we cover this once with the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, because they, they bear the mark of Christ, because the mark of Christ is upon them, I say, let no one throw them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, I say, let no one, let no man trouble them in the name of Jesus. 
I say this one shall be for signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. But I create a shield around them in the name of Jesus. And so all of our children, wherever they may be right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I say nothing broken, nothing shaking in the mighty name of Jesus. I say this one shall be great in the name of Jesus. I say great shall be their greatness in the name of Jesus. And as we that are looking for the fruits of the womb, because you said there shall be no barren in your house, oh God. You that have done it for this once and for their parents, oh God. I said there shall be a sound of joy in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. The choir can give us a song as they dance back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Come and see, oh, come and see. It is done in the name of Jesus. This is your month of celebration. This is your month of manifestation. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. I Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you, oh God. We thank you for all that you've given unto us. Father, we thank you for your mercy, for your faithfulness. Thank you for all that you've done. You are indeed a good, good father. That we cannot count all your blessings, oh God, because they are uncountable. That it will bless you. We thank you for your word that has gone forth, oh God. But I will thank you because it is done. But I will enter into our month of manifestation in the name of Jesus. We enter into our month of testimonies, our month of evidence in the name of Jesus. That Lord, as we go into this week and we go as giants, oh God, possessing all that you have given unto us in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will come back with testimonies. As testimonies, we are bound in the name of Jesus. We commit the men of God and as many that in their travels unto your hands, that we pray you bring them home safely in the name of Jesus. Over the walk upon his hand, it will not fail, it will not falter. Your anointing over his, head, his life will increase more and more in the name of Jesus. But I will worship you. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Shall we share the grace in unison? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are blessed.